<laughs> oh my god. Sorry about that guy, it's me. So, what's up guys, it's me, Eddie again, welcome back to another movie review. So we're back at again. This time, we'll be reviewing the new Ghostbusters Afterlife. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Ghostbusters! <laughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. So, today we'll be reviewing the new Ghostbusters Afterlife. And uh, I just recently, I've watched, I have seen the movie yesterday. Wow. Jesus. Wow. It was emotional. <laughs> well, not, um, like, at the end, it was like, we'll get to that. We'll get to that part. Um, so, what that I have to say is, this is a sequel to the original two movies not the 2016 re reboot fuck that film just fuck it just just freak i'm just gonna forget that movie even exists i'm just gonna forget that shit just throw that shit in the trash you know and uh this is the real ghostbusters movie we've been all been waiting to see what the fuck what was that Not a ghost, I think. Well, at least it was, yeah, I'm sure it's not a ghost. So, so yeah. So today I'm gonna be reviewing. <laughs> sorry. Um. Uh. Wow. <laughs> uh. Man, this is a sequel to. Like I said, this is a sequel to the original two movies. Yes, it takes place after the the second, the first and second film, not the 2016 reboot. Forget about that movie. That movie is just fucking in the dust right now. So, yeah. So, I had to say is, wow. This movie, this is literally the Ghostbusters sequel I've been always wanting. Been, I've been wanting to see for, for years, man. And, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Ghostbusters, but, you know, me after seeing the 2016 film, I was pissed. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't really want to even want to talk about it. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let me start off by saying, um, I'm only going to, we're going to talk, we're going to talk about the aspects, my favorite scenes of the film. Well, like, you know, everything. So, when I talk every single scene, like, you know, um, let's, I'm going to start off with the cast. Um, who is it? Um, McKenna Grace um, as Phoebe. Phoebe, she did awesome. She she did she did awesome. Um, Finn, of course, we all um, Stranger Things star Finn Wolf Wolfhard as Trevor, <laughs> and uh, man, he also did good too. I love him. He he's he's fucking he's awesome. He he's brilliant. And uh, Paul Rudd is Mr. Gruberson. Yes, Paul Rudd. And um, and uh, surprised, um, act like surprise, um, basically um, reprise like actors reprising their roles again in this. In well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that part. We'll we'll, we'll get to that part. Um, yeah, it's just what the hell is that? Oh, it's no, no. There's like a door right there, and uh, no, it's just windy. No, no, no. It's just a door to my to my garage, and yeah, it's like open and stuff. It's not like locked. Okay, sorry about that. Um, let's just start off by saying, you know, um, what was I remembered? Uh, <laughs> um, honestly, my favorite. Let's start off with my favorite scenes in the film. There's so many scenes in the film that I just love. Like, the part where, uh, like, uh, the opening scene where some strange man was holding some sort of what looked like the, uh, the ghost catcher, or, I don't know, like, ghost catcher or the, the ghost ray. I don't remember what I just saw. I think it was, like, the ghost trap or something. And uh, he ran to his house, some old house, and uh, some ghosts were going after, were chasing after him, ghosts. And, uh, you know, he sat down on the couch, and uh, he set up traps, like, all over the house for ghosts. 
And uh, I thought it was pretty cool, like something out of freaking, I don't know, Rambo or something. Like Rambo style. <laughs> so like, that's pretty cool. And uh, he just sits down on the couch, just suddenly just sits down on the couch, making his last breath. And, the, and after that, the ghosts kill him. And we cut off to the scene where where Phoebe and and uh, Trevor were at the apartment. We're at their um at their apartment with their mother, who's just their mother, and uh, they got conv- they got convict they uh, got convicted, I guess. And uh, they were even they were they were already they already they were already gonna move out even before they even before they were even convicted. So yeah, so they moved out in some some place in Oklahoma, Somerville, Oklahoma. Some it's supposed to be a ghost town, and. Uh, yeah, I mean this is where everything's gonna start from there, and then uh, they move to this to their to their grandfather's house, which is basically their their grandfather's house, and uh, and uh, basically, um, man, like uh, it's in, like an old house. So basically, um, the same house as uh, where the where the where that stranger was was killed by the ghost, and uh, yeah. And basically, you know, from, you know, gotten she went to her new school and uh, she met um her her new her new teacher, Mr. Gruberson, played by Paul Rudd. And uh, you know, find out that, that Gruberson is a cool teacher, you know, <laughs> showing their students uh movies <laughs> like like such as Cujo or or Chucky <laughs> Child's Play. That was that was pretty hilarious. And uh she started making new friends, you know, and, uh, yeah, man, um, and, uh, sorry, um, uh, Trevor uh, went to a, some burger diner, I guess, diner, and uh, she found a new friend, I'm sorry, she, what the fuck I said, he found a new friend, sorry about that, he found a new friend, and, uh, she was in there. He he was at first he was engaged, but a day later, when he applied for the job, um, he he, he realized that she she told him that did well, like she just throws the jacket. She just throws the jacket at him and and says, "This is my boyfriend's." Yeah, that's as far as like, oh damn. <laughs> so I guess no really should, like <laughs> no sex. I guess <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, he's, well, why have sex? I mean, he's underage, so, <laughs> can't have sex, he's underage. At first, he said he was 17, but he lied, he was 15, so, yep, no sex. <laughs> uh, that was, like, later part of the film. And, uh, I'm not gonna spoil too much, like, uh, well, there is gonna be some spoilers. If you're, if you're watching this video, then don't watch it, then. <laughs> and, uh, there's the part where... They found, like, uh, I think if I remember correctly, I think they, they found, like, some, they found the, the ghost trap, I forgot, I don't remember, it was, like, in the house or something? The ghost trap. And, uh, then they bring it to the school, they bring it to the school, Phoebe brings the ghost trap with her, Phoebe and her friend, to bring the ghost trap to the school, and uh, Gruberson, Paul, Mr. Gruberson, um, checked the thing, checked the thing out, you know, and, uh, he realized what this thing was, and, uh, and, uh, he actually knows, he actually remembers what, what this trap belongs to, and belongs to the Ghostbusters, and, uh, shows, shows her, her and her friend of the, the video of, like, a commercial, or, like, video from, like, 1984, when Ghostbusters, like, take down, um, Gord, is that his name, Gord? Gord, I'm not a big Ghostbusters guy, but I, I do like the films, and, uh, take Gord down, and, uh, yeah, Gord took Gord, I don't remember, and, uh, yeah, and the Stay Puft down, and everything, and they saved New York, and, uh, they went outside and, and, uh, test or experience, experience, experiment the 
sorry, the, to test out the, the, the trap real quick. And uh, once they open the trap, boom, like a fucking ghost comes out of it. This, I'm pretty sure it was the same exact ghost. Uh, yeah, it was the same exact ghost. Yeah, um, that that killed the old the stranger in that in the in the opening of the film, and uh, we'll get to the stranger who that stranger is. And uh, once um, she found she found the ghost trap at um at some like an under some hidden like underground thing in the house, and uh, about what I said about the ghost like coming out of the trap. It went like it went to some mountain or something. Hit some mountain, which basically is supposed to be their hideout. And uh, yeah, in some mining, some mine shaft, which is supposed to be their hideout, I guess. And uh, yeah, I mean, and uh, we get to the part where um, she, um, sorry, <laughs> Phoebe um, found um, some sort of secret like some bathroom stall and she found a secret door in the bathroom stall and leads to her to some underground um hideout and uh it, she found out that she found uh, the whole entire all four ghostbusters um um uniform and uh and their all their their equipment and stuff their the ghost trappers and all that the va ghost vacuums I, I, don't, I don't know how you call them ghost vacuums i guess and uh, basically, she found out who this place belongs to, and uh, it is her father. Yes, the stranger guy. That's that stranger guy is her. I'm sorry, sorry. Her stranger guy is her grandfather, Egan, Egon Spangler. Yes, she is the the granddaughter of Ingo, Egon Spangler, and uh, that's that's crazy because. The character died early in the film, but he, but the actor Har Harold Ramis um died. We all know he died seven years before seven, I guess no seven years before prior to this film. If I'm sorry, wait, um, did I may say that prior. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Be seven years before the film even came out, and uh, that was a sad part because before that there was good originally there was going to be a Ghostbusters three. But it never happened. It got canceled because of I. Pretty, there's many re there were many reasons. One of them was, of course, Harold Ramis's death, and uh, they made this piece of shit film. Twenty, the, not the not this film, the other film, the reboot, the shitty reboot, the 2016 reboot. Uh, no, I'm just gonna forget that film. Just fuck that film. Sorry. Oh god, I'm just so I'm still pissed about that film. Okay, back in the film. Back to the film. She found out that uh, Egon is her grandfather, and uh, basically, yeah, and uh, and uh, she told this to her mother, and uh, yeah, I mean, she said that uh, that Egon abandoned. She thinks that Egon abandons abandons her and and her crew and his crew and the rest of the crew and his family, and uh, settled here, settled in the house in the in Somerville. But uh, sh and uh, there's just, there's just one scene where uh, Trevor in the warehouse in like a barn, I guess, um, some shed. Jesus Christ! Um, once he um f looked inside that the place inside the, the shed, he found out that he found the Ecto One. Yes, the the Ghostbusters, <laughs> the Ghostbusters vehicle, the Ecto One. And uh, he's try to he try to fix it. He's there's just, like part where he tries to fix it and repair it, try to work get it working again, and uh, it did work. And uh, he was driving it around and uh, with the rest of the rest with the rest of the crew, including Phoebe, including Phoebe and his friend, his partner, and uh, driving around and they got caught by the police, and uh, because well, of course Trevor didn't have a license. I mean he's, I mean. And they got, they were sent to jail. They were, and, uh, along with, uh, Trevor's um, friend from, from the restaurant. And, uh, basically, I don't know how she got there. And, uh, 
and uh, they got they got picked up by their parents. You know, their mother, same thing. Everything mother got with is pissed and everything, and uh, she found out the 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 ghost trapper thing and the rest of the, the equipment and uh, to like the police said the, that the police station said that they'll keep the equipment in the car and and she doesn't want that and uh, and the police that the police chief made fun of his talk well, I don't know talk shit about um, Egon her, her her granddaddy and uh, she got she, that made her pissed and she almost, she fucking grabbed the vac, grabbed the fucking vacuum thing, and fucking almost got murdered this guy, like seriously, and, uh, you know, her mother told her to stop, and told her to go, you know, and, uh, there was this one crazy scene, this is probably one of my favorite scenes in the film, it just brings me back memories, and, uh, yeah, sorry about that, <laughs> so there's this, um, uh, so, but like I, so, Let's get back to the part. Um, so there's a scene where um, Paul Rudd's character, Mr. Gruber, Gruberson, went to the went to Walmart real quick to pick up a snack, and uh, she start. He, I'm sorry. He starts to notice something. Um, this is a, this is a really cool scene, a really cool reference where he he grabbed a Baskin Robbins, kind of reminiscence because um, his his other character, Ant Man. Worked in a, in, he used to work in a Baskin Robbins. He used to work in Baskin Robbins and got fired in, in the Ant Man movie. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, and uh, he starts to notice something, and uh, he heard something in the back. And I uh, walked over in the, in the marshmallow aisle. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm, well, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it is base, it is. <laughs> This is really, this is actually pretty cute. Like, like, everybody was like, everybody was like, uh, it was like, oh, it's like, oh, <laughs> the whole fucking place. And, uh, yes, it's when, like, the whole bag of marshmallows was moving and stuff, and it, it ripped open, and out came a little tiny, little babies of Stay Puff, Stay Puff Marshmallow Men. Yes, that was actually pretty cool. It's good. It's nice to see them, <laughs> but as little babies. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and uh, I don't. But whoa! Before he when he before he even entered Walmart, there was like a like a big star beaming beaming thing coming out of the fucking mountains. The same mountain where the ghosts were the ghosts were hiding. That the ghost, the same ghost that they were hiding in, come out of the mountain and just. <laughs> just went to Walmart. Just, just, just showed up in Walmart, and uh, the the, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. One of them bit his hand, bit his finger, and uh, there was like armies of them. Like it was, a, it was a, it was a crazy. It was a funny scene. It was a heartwarming scene. And uh, he looked. He turned around and see something terrifying, and it's brilliant. And. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, Zool. Yes, it's... Yes, Zool is... <laughs> uh, like, Zool. Yes, the, the big dog... Ghost dog thing, whatever. And, uh... It's literally... You know what's the crazy... You know what's the fun part? That this thing is like an... I don't know. I think it was like an... You can see a bit of animatronic. And it jumps to CGI. Like, he threw the thing at him and... And the the Zul noticed him and starts chasing him, and uh, it was like it cut to CGI. I mean, yeah, I mean, I understand. I mean, it look it doesn't look bad in CGI. It looks pretty cool in CGI, honestly. Sorry about that. Um. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um. Then uh, basically um, um, basically um, what the fuck. Gruber, Gruberson, whatever, Gruberson, um, fucking run out and just run back to his car, <laughs> it was funny, so I was like, like, the fucking ghost just breaked his glass, and, uh, he just jumps into the fucking front of the car, in the front window, <laughs> that was pretty funny, and, uh, the fucking thing, it looked like it could have been, mauled, it could have mauled him over, seriously, or, and, uh, and, uh, the whole, and the, the scene jumped to, back to the crew, 
to the rest of the crew. And, uh, yeah, I mean, what was this? What was hmm. Oh, I forgot this one scene. Before all this, um, there was this one scene where uh, Phoebe and her friend, Phoebe and her friend were testing out the right, the ghost trap and everything, and, uh, they, uh, they want to, they want to try it out on a ghost, and that uh, they found a ghost inside of an abandoned factory, I guess, some fat, some weird ghost, fat, ugly, hungry ghost, I, I don't know, it looked like, I don't know, it's supposed to be Slimer, or something, it doesn't look like Slimer, for sure it's not Slimer, and, uh, Basically, um, um, sorry. Basically, it looks like a, I don't know, it had more than like four, like three arms. It looked like, it looked like that, that water bear thing. What, what is the, what is the water bell? Water bear. Tardigrade. Oh, tardigrade. Yes, that's literally what the thing looked like, but with eyes. <laughs> but with a more, with a more of a mouth. Instead of like a, 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 and uh, yeah, like me, it was it was pretty cool to see a ghost, an actual ghost, and uh, they started chasing the ghost, and uh, they tried to chase it after with the Ecto One and everything, fucking almost destroyed the whole fucking town, and uh, they chased it down to the mountains and caught it right on time before it it went back to its mountain to its hideout. And, uh, yeah. In the final scene, in the final battle, um, it was heartwarming. And, uh, wow. It's, wow, it's hard. Like, so oh, both, um, Phoebe, well, I'm sorry, Gruberson and, and both Phoebe and Trevor's mother got captured. And, uh, there's the whole, the whole gang starts to get back together and, uh, got got together re, um uh and uh starts to go after um go gozer yeah gozer that i found remember the name gozer and uh i expected more of a battle like more of a larger battle with gozer but uh it was it, i mean they chase her in the mountain it, the scene brought back memories you know reminiscence to the original film on the on the sky on top of the building on top of the building, yeah, goes her where she was on top of the building and everything, and uh, both the, the the dogs, the Zul, I think, and uh, basically, like, like she was. This is the funny part where Phoebe was walking up to Gozer, and just Gozer just looking at her, just looking at her, Phoebe, <laughs> like like look at her stupid. No, I didn't look at her stupid. She was just like with a blank expression, and and uh, you know, just talking about whatever she said, jokes, whatever. And uh, they put a trap, a ghost trap, under the zool, and trap the the zool, and trap the thing, and uh, the rest, and try to get Gozer in there, and uh, Gozer escapes and everything. Or I guess she did escape. Well, now she not really. Most of her didn't. She, most parts of her didn't. Didn't like. She, like you know, she was just. I don't know. I don't know how you put it really. So they were all. The the whole gang went all back. The whole gang went back to the house. That went back to the house, and uh, this is where it gets crazy and just. It's very. It's really. It's very nice to watch. It's very, it's, it's very heartwarming. Um, this is a, there is a scene where they all got back to the house and uh, Gozer and the rest were Gozer and Zul were chasing after, and uh, there's this one scene where where they try to take down Zul, all four trying to take Zul Zul down, sorry Gozer down, and. Uh, like uh, the two, the two of the rest were not like uh, they couldn't, they couldn't like because the 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 other the two of the others um their rent their ghost vacuum their ghost vacuum sorry ghost vacuums didn't work 
and the uh, the marshmallow men were like like fucking destroying the system, fucking destroying the thing, and uh, it was just funny. It was pretty cool, <laughs> and uh, and uh, there's this one scene where I hear I hear I hear a call out, and uh, and as Gozer just turns around and sees. It's just heartwarming to see some three actor, three three rep reprised roles. Uh, yes, Bill Mur. We see Bill Murray as Peter Van Peter Bankman again, Dan Aykroyd as Ray Stance, and Ernie Hudson as Winston again. It's just amazing to, to see them again as their characters, as their characters one last time. It's just amazing, man. And, uh, you know, it was fun to watch, you know, see these guys again. Like, I was having so much fun. And, uh, you know, all three, all seven trying to, all seven trying to take Gozer down once and for all. And, uh, like, uh, and out of nowhere, like, she, um, Phoebe starts stepping back, and she's, like, she can't hold much longer, and, uh, and out of nowhere, some ghost, a, a mysterious ghost grabs, grabs her, like, grabs her by the arm, and helps her out, and, uh, and would you know it, it is, it is Egon Spangler, yes, Harold Ramis, and that looks great, because this was years, this was years after, Spang, this was seven years after Harold Ramis's death, but they actually get to, they had to, they actually get Harold, and, like, they get his face, and they, like, I don't know, it was, it looks, I know, it was probably all CGI, you know, it looks, definitely looks exactly like Egon Spangler, and, of course, Harold Ramis, like, they, they, they aged, um, Egon Spangler, <laughs> like, they get Egon, Egon Spangler's face from the original film, and they aged him or something, yeah, it's a, it's a little weird, but, you know, it's it's nice to see him again. It's nice. It's, it's really heartwarming. And, uh, you know, all of, and uh, Phoebe remembers that the, um, her her grandfather sets up, like, 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 a hundred, like, a hundred, uh, like, ghost traps, and, uh, around the house, around the fields in the house, and, uh, now uh, we all understand why, um, we'll get to that part real quick. We'll get to the part shortly. And, uh, all six, t I'm sorry, all seven, um, took Gozer down, all, and Zul down, and, yeah, it was all over. It was just heartwarming. It was just amazing to watch. And, uh, you know, I mean... Even though Egon Spangler didn't talk, because, well, how could they? How could they do that? I mean, again, Harold. Of course, Harold is is dead. Of course, I mean, of course they cannot get his voice. But you know, just you know, at least we get to see him again one last time. It was just, it was a bunch of, it was full. Of, it was just full of joy, man. And. uh... You know, um, Phoebe's mother sees, um, her father, again, her, her father, um, Phoebe's mother's father, again, and, uh, sees, like, the ghost of him, and, uh, just breaks down, and, you know, it's very emotional, very emotional scene, and, uh, you know, even though, um, Egon, well, ghost Egon didn't say nothing, basically, he's looking at her, you know, just staring at her, you know, just getting close to her and just staring at her, you know, like asking for like forgiveness that that he left her and every and every but and everything. And you know, you know, they give one last hug and I mean she's literally hugging a ghost. But, you know and uh yeah, and uh Egon's spirit, you know, is just starts it just goes away. And just disappears. His spirits just fly away. Or, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how you call that shit. I mean, 
just, you know, you know, and, uh, yeah, you know, that's just the end of the film, you know, that's the end of the movie right there with the tag, with the tagline for, this is for, um, for, or this is for, uh, Harold Ramis, and yes, yes, this movie is definitely for Harold Ramis, yes, most definitely, yes, this is the real Ghostbusters 3, honestly, and, uh, Yep, the movie ends right there, and, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, basically, um, end of, they give you a little footage, flashback of, like, you know, of, from the first movie, from the first movie, I guess, and, uh, yeah, so, that's the end of the, then, yeah, it's the end of the credits, right there, all the, all the credits, and, uh, there's also a secret ending that I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, well, yeah, I'm not really going to spoil it for you guys, so I'm going to keep it a secret. So, uh, yeah. So, I guess that's it. That's that's the end of the movie right there. Wow. Now, let's get into my verdict. Honestly, this is this is a hell of a lot. I really did, really did enjoy this film a lot. And uh, it's just a, a joy to watch, you know. It's very heartwarming, you know. And, uh, yeah, you know, now, I would expect the ending to be a little bit more, you know, I want, like, more villains, I mean, it's just, just a bunch of ghosts, Zool, and Gozer, and everything, that should be it, I mean, I mean, a safe puff too, but there should have been more villains, maybe from, maybe from the second film, or maybe anywhere in the first film, I don't know, but, you know, and uh, I expect more for the ending, like what happened to the, the rest of the characters, the rest of the crew, you know, and, uh, yeah, I mean, so, yeah, I guess that's it, and, uh, no, sorry, let's get to the rating, uh, I'll give this film an 8 out of 10, without a doubt, this is an 8 out of 10, like, it, I, I, it was just amazing, you know, not... Not like the not like the best film I've ever seen, but it's still a joy to watch, you know. Well, I don't know. I mean, do I say it's the best film? I'm not sure. But it's still a great, great film, in my opinion. And uh yes, it's I recommend watching it. So yeah, in case you notice my headphone, uh it's like yeah, the microphone just broke off or something, yeah, I, I don't know what happened, it just fucking broke off, I'll get new ones next time, <laughs> I'll get a new one, a new one, so, uh, yeah, so, that's, that's, so that's my review on Ghostbusters Afterlife, and, uh, so, yeah, so that's just, that's, that's it for the video, and, uh, take care, see ya.